Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter for a life transforming testimony? You are welcome, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As you are joining online today, wherever you are logging in from, in your different nations and country, let's just begin to exalt His holy name, begin to magnify the name of the Lord, begin to wave your hands in thanksgiving, adoration, praises unto the living God. Appreciate God. Thank Him for the gift of life. Thank Him because He's your God. Thank Him because He's your Father. Your Lord, my Lord, my God, your God. Appreciate Him. Worship him, bless his holy name for another day like this, for another day of encounter, another day of divine visitation from the Lord. For you are now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in him. Appreciate God, enter into his presence with thanksgiving and into his praise with cause, which is called with praises and worship in your mouth. Appreciate him, lift up your hands unto him and say, Father, I thank you. I appreciate you for my life. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my marriage. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my spouse. The work of my hand. Everything that concerns me. Thank you for my health. Thank you because you are a faithful God. Thank you for your loving kindness. Your mercy that endures forever over my life, my home, my family. I appreciate God. Thank God. He deserves it. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be glorified. I appreciate God for the gift of life, for another weekend, for seeing you and I throughout the week. We went into our different ways, our ways of worse. We go out in the morning, come back in the evening. The Lord protected us. The Lord guided us. The Lord sustained us. Our children, they all go to school. Our husband goes to work. We are said, We all return back home to our home, our family. We joy with thanksgiving in our heart. Let's appreciate God for He has kept us, He has sustained us, He has provided, He has guided us. In the name of Jesus. And this is another weekend, a glorious one in the name of Jesus, the divine visitation, divine encounter from the Lord. Let's worship Him, appreciate Him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our strong tower, our high tower, our redeemer, our fortress, our shield, our buckler, ancient of days. I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the all sufficient God, the great physician. The owner of our soul, let's worship him. Let's appreciate him. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be glorified. Thank him for your family. Thank you for your health. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for your children. Appreciate God into his presence today. Prayer Avalanche, July edition. Today is the 13th and the 13th day of this month, the month of July, year 2024. Lord, we worship you. Who are we, O Lord, but by your power in the name of Jesus? You have found us worthy to be among the living today. Only the living can praise you as we do this day, as we have come into your presence, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, accept our thanks, accept our worship, accept our adoration. In the name of Jesus, be magnified, be that resulted. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for strength. Thank you for grace. Thank you for ability, vigor, vitality to come into your presence, O Lord, on a daily basis to be visited, to be encountered by you. And today is the 13th day. Lord, we just worship you. 
we appreciate you in the name of Jesus. It can only be you for strength, for vigor, for vitality, for answer prayer. Blessed be your name, O Lord. We return all glory, all honor, all majesty and adoration be to your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks and worship. Let's begin to go before the presence of the Lord and say, Father, as I come into your presence today, Lord, search my heart, search my mind, O Lord. Anything that will not allow my prayer to be answered today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, Lord. In the name of Jesus, every ungodliness, every unrighteousness in my heart, O Lord, in my life, O Lord, Lord, I want to hinder my prayer, Lord, move in my life, my home, my marriage today. Open your mouth and pray, Lord, I repent of them. Forgive me in the name of Jesus, forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, I repent of them in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, forgive me. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, the Father today, O Lord, have mercy upon me, my home, my marriage, my family. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy speak for me today. Let your mercy, O Lord, answer my prayers today. Your mercy, O Lord, I need, O Lord. Show me your mercy. Visit me by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, mercy, Lord. Mercy, O Lord. Let your mercy speak for me, my home, my family, my health, O Lord, my destiny. In the name of Jesus, your mercy, O Lord, your mercy, because you are a merciful God. Let our prayers today be answered by your mercy. You are your mercy, O Lord, divinely heal me today. This is my life, my health, in the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord, from your throne. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask for the blood of Jesus. Lord, today as I come to your presence once again, I pray the blood of Jesus upon my life. In the name of Jesus, my environment within and around me, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, my body, my spirit, my soul, the blood of Jesus over to this ministration, let the blood flow. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood that conquers Satan, the blood of redemption, the blood of atonement. Father, today, for you and I, everyone that will come online today and those that are listening to the podcast, Lord, we overcome today by the precious blood of Jesus. We prevail in the place of prayer today by the precious blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, the blood of redemption, the blood of atonement, let it avail for us today. Let it intercede for us today. Let it open answer to our prayer today. The blood of Jesus. We conquer by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, within and around us in the name of Jesus. We hold every spirit that is against the powers. We hold them bound today. Open your mouth and pray by the blood of Jesus. Every spirit around your environment, every spirit in your vicinity that is contrary to the spirit, to the move of God, that will not allow your prayers to be answered. So we want to hinder your prayers today. Hold them bound by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, spirit of distraction, spirit of confusion, let them be bound today by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, we pray the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, into the heavenlies, begin to plead the blood of Jesus into the heavens, over your life, over your environment, in the name of Jesus, and at the same time, let the heaven be open upon you today, in the name of Jesus, open heavens, open heavens upon our lives today, individually and as a family, Lord, we declare, we declare, let the heaven open, heaven of answer prayer, heaven of divine revelation, heaven of divine encounter, heaven of divine inspiration, heaven of healing, heaven of deliverance, heaven of salvation, liberty and freedom from you, O Lord God. Let it be open upon each and every one of us to that. Today, in the name of Jesus, those that are living, watching live, those that are listening to the podcast, let the heaven be open. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Heaven over my life, heaven over my family, heaven over my destiny, my health. Be open today for divine healing, for the power of God to come, to locate me, to heal me today. In the name of Jesus, open heaven. In the name of Jesus, begin to ask the Holy Spirit, come and have your way today. In the name of Jesus, invite the Spirit of God into your life, into your home, into your family today. Holy Spirit, the comforter. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Holy Spirit, the comforter, the healer. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, have your way. None of us, but all of you. Come and take your place. Come and do that which only you can do. Visit us today in the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, fill us with our flesh with your power, with the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, let Jesus be glorified into this ministration in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
have your way, O oh Lord. Let Jesus, the healer, be revealed in our life, in our destiny, in our home today. In the name of Jesus, the great physician, the healing power of God, let it come down mightily in our presence today. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, the healing balm of Gideon, Lord, let it be released from your true Lord, to our midst today, to every life, every soul, every woman, every husband, every man. In the name of Jesus, for divine healing, O Lord, the healing balm of Gideon, the healing balm of Gideon, the great physician, Yahyam Jahyam, Jehovah Rapha. We cry unto you today, O Lord. Come down in our midst. Come down in our presence and heal us today. In the name of Jesus, have your way, sweet Holy Spirit. Let us not pray and miss today. In the name of Jesus, come and pray in us. Come and pray to us. Come and pray for us. Let us not pray and miss. In the name of Jesus, let the mind, the agenda, and the will and the purpose of God for our life, our health, our family today. Let it be released unto us. Let it be manifested in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way. Come down in your power, come down in your majesty. Visit us, O Lord. Heal us, save us by your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, today visit me, O Lord, by your healing power. In the name of Jesus. Heal me, O Lord, my life, my destiny today. In the name of Jesus, God. Open your mouth and pray and declare that, Lord, my health personalize it. My health will not fail me. In the name of Jesus, decree it into your life. My health will not Jesus, as a woman, as a man, a children, consign our children, that my health will not fail me. In the name of Jesus, my spirit, my body, my soul, in the name of Jesus, they will not break down, they will not malfunction. In the name of Jesus, everything will my health, my body will cooperate with me in the place of prayer today. In the name of Jesus, I will not be weak, I will not be tired, I will not be weary. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prevail in the place of prayer today with power, with strength, with might. In the name of Jesus, authority and majesty, power belong to God. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare and declare the Father today, I declare and declare sound health, sound mind is my portion today. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. Open your mouth and pray. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Let's pray for ourselves. In the name of Jesus, the Father, today, O oh Lord, sound mind, sound health, O oh Lord. Lord, I receive it today. You are anointing your power. Let it fall upon me for sound health, for sound mind. In the name of Jesus, and let your name alone be glorified. Do that which only you can do. One money cannot buy. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray and say, Father, every negative report, every medical negative report concerning my life, my destiny, Lord, as I've come into your presence today, Lord, overturn it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, God, let the Lord overturn it. Let the Lord reverse it. In the name of Jesus, I have come into his presence today for the power of God for healing, the healing balm, the great physician, the almighty God, the potter, you are the clay, he's the potter. Now open your mouth and pray that every medical negative report, every issue concerning my health, whatever it is, say it up with the Lord that today, oh Lord, the title of this prayer balance. Lord, let me not come in vain. Visit me, O Lord. Overturn those medical reports. In the name of Jesus Christ, overturn them. Reverse them, O Lord, for my good. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me be healed, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and say today, O Lord, Lord, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. In the name of Jesus, confess it. The Father, today, as I've come into your presence, be it woman, be it a man, be it a our children, Lord, today, heal me according to your word, and I shall be healed by your power. In the name of Jesus, save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. My home, my life, my destiny, my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we worship you, we appreciate you. Today is the day of your power, day of your glory, day of anointing, O oh Lord. Lord, let it fall. Your power, your anointing, your grace, O oh Lord. For anointing, for healing, for sound health, for sound mind. Let it fall, let it be released upon you. everyone that be sent online today and those that are listening to the podcast. Let your name be glorified. Let us be blessed. Let us be, uh, give glory and honor and adoration to your holy name at the end of today's ministration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are a glorious God. Thank you because our Lord and our Father. Thank you because your mercy is enjoyed forever. Thank you because you are the healer. And your promise for us is to be healthy, to have sound mind and sound health to Lord, to prosper and live in good health and abundance and blessings and peace of God in our life, our home, our marriage, our family. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, we worship you. We appreciate you. Thank you, mighty Father. Go with us. Go ahead of us today. Let your name alone be glorified. None of you, but all of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you all. Today, day 13, prayer about and July. Bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Everyone joining online from wherever you are logging in from, it is well with you in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare your health will not fail you, sir. Your health will not fail you, ma. In the name of Jesus, God. The Lord continue to uphold you in the name of Jesus. It is well with your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate God's faithfulness in your life, your home, your marriage, your family. You are all welcome to day 13 of this prayer avalanche. In the name of Jesus, I pray the joy of the Lord continue to be your strength. You will not be weary, you will not be tired. In the name of Jesus, as you are daily continuing to be coming to the presence of God, to pray it for your life, your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty will answer our prayer in the name of Jesus. You are to I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will pass you and I by today. In the name of Jesus, you shall be divinely blessed. You shall be divinely sound here, sound. In the name of Jesus, you are all welcome. Jesus, Amen. Today, after lunch, a wonderful day, a glorious weekend today. In the name of Jesus, we are repeating. A home, a man, family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are looking at that will not fail me. Prophesy it into your life. My health, mention your name. I, Holy Shola, my health will not fail me in the name of Jesus. Say to yourself, my health will not fail me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are praying concerning our health in the name of Jesus. Every woman in the house, every mother, every wife. We want to pray concerning our health and every man, all of us generally. Our health will not fail you. Be the man, be the woman. Our health will not fail us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Go with me with scripture for today's prayer. My health will not fail me. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. My health will not fail me. Verse 6. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. John 1, verse 2. To John 1, verse 2. Amen. To John 1, verse 2. Psalm 139, verse 14. Psalm 139, verse 14. One four Psalm one hundred and thirty nine verse fourteen one four Amen. I hope you all get that. Let's start from the first one. Jeremiah thirty three verse six. Please, Master, let's open our Bible to it and see what God has said concerning our health, concerning our body, in the name of Jesus. So you and I will be able to take a scripture capsule of scripture on a daily basis and begin to pray and begin to prophesy concerning your health issue concerning your health challenges for your husband for your wife for your children in the name of jesus amen 33 verse 6 i'm reading from king james fashion amen 33 verse 6 behold i will bring it health and kill Jesus, Sandy, you sir, and cure for your soul, 
physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord Almighty will cure you of every ailment, every disease, every sickness, every infirmity, every attack of the enemy in your body concerning your health in the name of Jesus Christ. And he said, and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth in the name of Jesus for you and I your husband, your wife, your children, the Lord will reveal to us the abundance of peace. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding that be your heart, your bones, your brain, the spirit, so your body in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Third John 1 verse 2. Hallelujah. Third John 1 verse 2. Amen. Third John 1 verse 2. Third John 1. I believe I believe that thou mayest prosper and help you prosper it. Amen. Concerning you, sir, everyone represented online, those that are listening in the name of Jesus, Bible says, I wish And I wish I be in good health in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall put Jesus Christ. Spirit, your body, your soul, in the name of Jesus, shall help you in good health. Spirit, your health, Jesus. Amen. Psalm 139. Psalm 139. Verse 14. Hallelujah. Psalm 139, verse 14. Psalm 139, verse 14. I read, I hope you are all there. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Amen. Psalm 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Amen. As we said last week, Sunday, praises and thanksgiving unto the Lord. You can see, say, I will praise thee, you and I, Master, every woman, every man, every man. You will praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. He said, For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Every woman, every man, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy words, and that my soul warrior right way in the name of Jesus Christ. Marvelous are the works of God. And our soul will rest rightfully well. Amen. As you praise God, as you thank God, as you worship Him for whatever God has done for you, appreciate Him. As we have said, it brings good health unto you. Your soul, your body, your spirit, your soul. For God, in the name of Jesus, and good health. Hallelujah. As you praise God, as you worship God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
men. Say, Lord, grant me physical health. For standing Let's open our mouth. God be concerning my life and of Jesus Christ. Master, open your mouth and pray for Jesus. Everyone in the world, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As a woman, as a mother, as a wife, we need good help. Today, we So let's form corporate anointing. Pray concerning your health issue, your health challenge. Be for your husband, be for the name of Jesus. The Father, grant me, grant my husband, grant my wife, grant my children. Mention their name. What anyone among your children that is having health issues, health challenges, Lord, grant them physical health, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus and well being concerning their and so their spirit in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. In the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me physical health and well-being concerning my life and body. In the name of Jesus. Concerning my husband. Lord, grant him physical health and well-being concerning my children. Those that have given unto me, the boys, the girls, my sons, my son's daughter. Lord, grant them physical health, O Lord and well-being concerning their life and body, their spirit, their soul. In the name of Jesus, Father, everyone represented online today, those that are listening to the podcast, those that are passing through one issue, health challenges, or the other, oh Lord, in their spirit, in their body, in their soul, physically, oh Lord, and concerning their well-being. Father, we pray today, Lord, grant them physical health and well-being. In the name of Jesus, in their life, in their spirit, in their body, in their soul, especially every woman represented on that. In the name of Jesus Christ, for every woman, oh Lord, for us to be productive, Lord, we need sand there, we need sand mind. In the name of Jesus, grant me physical health and well being concerning my life and body. In the name of Jesus, my health will not fail me. In the name of Jesus, my body will not break down, my body parts will not break down. In the name of Jesus, my body will cooperate with me. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, as it concerns you, as it matters with you, open your mouth and pray. Especially those that are having health issues, health challenges. Every woman, every mother, in the name of Jesus, even concerning the men in the house. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord grant us good health and well-being. In the name of Jesus, our life, our body, our soul, in the name of Jesus, for you to be able to pursue your career, for you to be able to go about your businesses, for you to be effective as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, in the home, in the marriage, in the family, every concerning you, daddy, for you to be able to be effective in your ministry, your career, in your businesses, let the Lord grant you physical health and well-being in your life, in your body, in your spirit, in your soul, and concerning all our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. It's the father strength to care for my body always and protect me from illness, diseases, infirmities. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Father, give me the strength. To care for my body always and protect me from illness, diseases, infirmities, in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will give you strength to care for your body always and protect you from illness, 
disease, infirmity, in the name of Jesus. We say cleanliness is next to godliness. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord grant all and I the strength to care for our body physically, anyway, for signing our body to care for it. I'm telling you, health of infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ. Health is wealth, in the name of Jesus. Cleanliness is less to godliness. Let the Lord grant us strength to care for our body always, to be able to be protected from illness, from diseases, from infirmity. In the name of Jesus, within and around us, in the name of Jesus, even our surrounding, our vicinity, in the name of Jesus Christ, our home, our family, mom is in the house, in the name of Jesus, your house, your environment, concerning your children, your environment, all these things matters a lot, in the name of Jesus, they all bring physical health and well-being, let the Lord give us the strength, physical strength, spiritual strength, mental strength, that we need to care for our body always and to protect us from illness, disease, sickness, and infirmity. Concerning you, man, as a woman, concerning you, sir, as a man, and concerning our children, their room, our house, our environment, in the name of Jesus, physically, spiritually, mentally, let the Lord give us the strength to care for our body always and protect us, our home, our marriage, our husband, our children from illness, diseases, infirmities, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The next prayer point, we take it from 1 Timothy 4, verse 8. Please open your Bible to it. 1 Timothy 4, verse 8. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Pay Avalan day 13, my health will not fail me. First Timothy 4, verse 8. Amen. I read for King James Version. My body, oh sorry, for bodily exercise, profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is. And of that which is to come. Amen. I hope you get it. For bodily exercise, profit a little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. Amen. We are taking our next prayer from, from that scripture, talking about bodily exercise. Amen. You and I, mom is in the house, daddy is in his house. We need to do exercise, part of keeping fit and keeping healthy and well being. Amen. Lord, guide me in making healthy choices regarding nutrition and exercise so I can serve you with a strong body in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. But Father, Lord, guide me in making healthy choices regarding nutrition and exercise so I can serve you with a strong body in the name of Jesus. Christ. Please, let's open our mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord guide us in making health choices regarding nutrition, exercise, so we can serve God with a strong body, so we can fulfill our purpose, our vision. In the name of Jesus, mom is in the house, every woman, every mother, every wife. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord guide all of us, including me, in making healthy choices regarding nutrition, regarding the food that you give to your family, your husband, yourself, your children, in the name of Jesus, and exercise. We need to exercise our body. Mommy, you need to exercise. We need to keep fit. We need to shed away those fat. Amen. In the name of Jesus, part of living healthy and well-being, so we can serve God with a strong body, with a good health, so you can go about your businesses, your career, your God's vision and purpose, with a good health, with a good body, so that you can be productive in your home, in your marriage, in your family, taking care of yourself, taking care of your husband, taking care of the children, the house calls, your career, your vision, your purpose, Glory to your working place. It takes a lot of strength and grace. You need good health. You need sound mind. You need to, your body must be okay. Amen. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord guide me in making healthy choices 
regarding nutrition and exercise so I can serve you with a strong body. Only one body that only somebody that is healthy can serve the Lord in whatever places you have, even in ministry. You need a strong body to serve God. Concerning your business, concerning your career, you need a strong body. You need to be healthy to serve God, to walk about, to grow your businesses, to be productive in your home. Take care of your husband. Take care of your children, the house calls, whatever. Let the Lord guide us. Let the Lord guide us. Every woman in the house, every man in the name of Jesus Christ to make decisions, healthy choices regarding nutrition. Mom is in the house, the nutrition, the food that you give, especially to the children and also to your husband. We need to know what goes well with your husband concerning his own health and also the children, what we need to give them. Let the Lord guide us. We cannot do it alone. We have no power and might. Let us pray that let the Lord guide us, making healthy choices regarding nutrition and exercise. You need to keep fit. You need to jog. You need to move about. Amen. So we can serve God with a strong body. Strong body in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Next prayer point, Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53, verse 5. The next prayer point. Isaiah 53, verse 5. And I read, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where we are taking the next prayer point for say, by the stripe of Jesus Christ, I am healed of every infirmity, sickness, diseases in my body, in my soul, in my spirit. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, Sama, and begin to declare it and begin to pray according to the word of God in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 53, verse 5. By the stripe of Jesus Christ, mention your name. Ah, I am healed in my body, in my soul, from every infirmity, every sickness, every disease. Mention your name. Every woman, every mother, every wife, those that have health issues, health challenges. Mention your name and pray. Affirm me, declare it, that you are healed by the stripe of Jesus Christ. You are healed of every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, every health challenges in your body, in your soul in your realm in the name of jesus i have some health i have some mind in the name of jesus confess it declare it affirm it to your life sir affirm it to your life ma even concerning your children in the name of jesus by the strap of jesus christ i am healed my husband is healed all my children are healed from every infirmity every sickness every attack of the enemy every diseases in our body in our soul, in our spirit, in our mind, in our realm, in our being. In the name of Jesus, I, my husband, my children, we have some health, we have some mind. In the name of Jesus, we have some health, we have some mind. In the name of Jesus, declare it into your life, your home, your marriage, your family. Master, in the name of Jesus, and even concerning your children, all those that are in your mind. Challenges and issues, spiritual vitamins, enzymes, antigens, proteins, in the name of Jesus, into your blood, your nose, your liver, your tendon, your ligament, 
your kidney, your liver, your eyes, those with high problems, whatever the areas of your body, in the name of Jesus, and let the Lord heal you completely, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, sir. Open your mouth and pray, ma. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release your spiritual vitamins, spiritual antigens, spiritual hormones, spiritual enzymes, spiritual proteins, oh Lord. The antigens into our body, our blood, our tissue, organs, or more, your kidney, your liver, your bones, your tendon, your ligament, your eyes, your ears, liver, kidney, intestine. Be, be for you, sir. Be for your children. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will release his spiritual in the name of Jesus. That whatever your body needs, and let the Lord heal you and I completely by his healing power. By his healing anointing, by his healing grace, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, sir. Open your mouth and pray, ma. Open for and pray for your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. You won't have it, in the name of Jesus. God has it in his power and in the blood of Jesus. There is complete vitamins, proteins, in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Isaiah 58, verse 8. Next prayer point. Isaiah 58, verse 8. Amen. Isaiah 58, verse 8. Then shall the light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Amen. Isaiah 58, verse 8. That's where we are taking our prayer point from. Master, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray with that scripture, with understanding. Let's go. Then shall that light break forth as the morning. Say, my light shall break forth as the morning. Open your mouth and begin to praise according to the word. For you, ma, for you, sir, for your children, every woman in the house, mothers in the house, wife in the house, in the name of Jesus Christ, my life will break forth as the morning. In the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare according to the word of God. Isaiah 58 verse 8, my life shall break forth as the morning. The light of my husband, the light of all my children, my girls, my boys, in the name of Jesus and myself, our life shall break forth as the morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, our health shall spring forth speedily. Father, in the name of Jesus, concerning me, my health shall spring forth speedily. The health of my husband shall spring forth speedily. The health of all my children shall spring forth speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ, concerning those that are watching online and those that are listening on the podcast, all our health, master, in the name of Jesus, shall spring forth speedily. In the name of Jesus, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. Lord, your righteousness, O Lord God, shall go before me, shall go before my husband, shall go before my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, your righteousness, O Lord, shall go before me, before my husband, my children, everyone represented online, those that are listening to the podcast. Your righteousness, O Lord God, shall go before us on a daily basis. In the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord shall be our reward. In the name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord shall be my reward, shall be the reward of my husband, shall be the reward of all my children, my boys, my girls, all the world represented, every woman, every mother. The glory of the Lord shall be our reward. In the name of Jesus, in that home, in that marriage, in that family, concerning your health, concerning your career, your business, in the name of Jesus, for all the men in the house, the glory of the Lord shall be your reward, sir. In the name of Jesus, concerning your health challenge, concerning your business, your finances, your career, your home, your marriage, the glory of the Lord shall be our reward. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. The word of the Lord. Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 32, 17 and 27. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Ha, Lord God. Blessed. Oh, sorry. Ha, Lord God. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. And stretch out arm, um, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Amen. The same Jeremiah 32 27. Behold, 
I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything to hide from me? Question mark. Amen. That's what we are saying. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything to hide for you? Me? And the answer is no. Nothing is too hard for God to do. Amen. Any part of my body that is fragmented physically, spiritually, mentally, let the blood repair and give me a brand new one as a great physician in heaven and also as the potter according to Jeremiah 18 verse 6 in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray sir open your mouth and pray ma every woman in the house those of you that are having health issues health challenges concerning you ma or be it your husband or be it any of your children your boys your girls in the name of Jesus prophesy pray this prayer we have seen it in the Bible in the name of Jesus, that any part of my body that is fragmented physically, spiritually, mentally, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord repair them. Your tissue, your organs, your remote, your kidney, your liver, your tender men, in the name of Jesus, and let the Lord give you a new one. Be it repair, be it a new one, the Lord knows what to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord repair, let the Lord give you a brand new one. In the name of Jesus, as the potter in heaven, and one the potter in the name of Jesus. He has all the spare parts in his heaven. And as the great physician, as our healer, as the Jehovah Rapha, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there is nothing too hard for God to do. In the name of Jesus, he is the God of all flesh. He will visit you, he will heal you, he will save you, he will deliver you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. I break every yoke of sickness, infirmity, diseases by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke of sickness, infirmity, diseases by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Begin to break every yoke of sickness, infirmity, and diseases in your life, your husband, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Are we praying in the name of Jesus? Mention your name. I break every yoke of sickness, infirmity, and diseases by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, by the power of God, in the name of Jesus concerning my life as a mother, concerning my husband, concerning all my children. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of infirmity, every yoke of disease, attack and affliction. My life, my husband, my children, my home, my family, my marriage is broken by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20. Next prayer point. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. Amen. Verse 19, I read. What? Question mark. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. Sickness carriers and disease agents. My life, my health, my body is not your candidate. In the name of Jesus Christ. Live now in the name of Jesus. Based on that scripture, Bible made you and I to know, say our body is the temple of the living God. It's the temple of the Holy Ghost. So we are praying concerning that scripture. Sickness, diseases, Careers, sickness, career, and agent does not have a place in our body. We are not their candidate. Our body, my husband's body, the children of my body, my children's body are not your candidate. So open your mouth and pray. Let them live now. Let them evacuate in the name of Jesus. Sickness, careers, and disease agents. My life, my husband's life, my children's life, my health, my husband's health, my children's health, my body. My husband's body, my place there. In the name of Jesus, live now. 
in the name of Jesus, live now. In the name of Jesus, live now. In the name of Jesus, because my body, my husband's body, my children's body is the temple of the living God. So I declare, I declare, I legislate according to the word of God that you sickness careers and disease agents, my life, my health, my body, and that of my husband and children is not your place, is not your dwelling place. In the name of Jesus, get out in the name of Jesus. Live now in the name of Jesus, be evacuated. Be evacuated, be evacuated in the name of Jesus. Live now. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are pray. Amen. Every sickness transferred into my life, my body, in the dream, come out now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Some sickness have been transferred in the dream. In the name of Jesus, from the dream world, from the dream realm, as you have dream, some some sickness have been projected into our body, into our soul. So that's why we are taking that prayer. Every sickness, every disease, every infirmity transferred into my life, my body, that of my husband, my children, in the dream, come out by fire. In the name of Jesus, come out now by fire. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mommy, pray. Daddy, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, pray for yourself. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. In the name of Jesus, women are suffering a lot. Women are going through health issues and challenges. Woman, mother, wife, pray. In the name of Jesus, every sickness, every disease, every infirmity, every attack of the enemy, every evil seed and implantation, transferred into your life, your body, in the dream world, in the spiritual realm, when you are sleeping, command them to come out, in the name of Jesus, let them jump out, let them come out now, by fire, in the name of Jesus, come out now, by fire, in the name of Jesus, come out now, by fire, in the name of Jesus, in your life, in your husband's life, in all our children's life, our boys, our girls, every disease, every sickness, every implantation of the enemy that have been transferred into their life and body in the dream world, when they are sleeping, when they are aware of what is going on around them, we command them to come out and by fire, in the name of Jesus, come out now by fire, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Every root of sickness. Amen. Every root of sickness. Pains. Aches. Affliction. Disease. Infirmity. Attacks. In my life. In my body. Be uprooted. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and pray. The book of Matthew say, Every seed, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted out from the root. In the name of Jesus. And every tree, every tree that does not bear good fruit shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. Open your mouth, sir. Open your mouth, man. And pray in the name of Jesus that every root of sickness concerning that your health challenges, your health issues, Wherever areas of your life that you are having it, those with eye problem, glaucoma, cataract, whatever, your body, your, your every part of your body, every root of sickness, pains, that pains that you are going through, aches, that aches that you are having, mommy in your bone, as a result of uh, what they call it, your leg, in the name of Jesus, the pain, the egg that you are going through, the affliction, the disease, the infirmity in your life, in your body, let them be uprooted. Let them be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Mommies, as a result of that arthritis in your bone, in your leg, in your tissue, open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. What about our daddies, the men in the house? In the name of Jesus, every root of sickness, every root of sickness, pains, aches, affliction, disease, infirmity in your brain, in your mind, in your bone, in your tissue, in your blood, in your ligament, in your tendon. Whatever areas of your life, your bones are aching you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be uprooted. Let them be consumed by fire. 
in the name of Jesus. Women in the house pray. Mothers in the house pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ache in your bow as a result of arthritis in the name of Jesus. Every eye problem in the name of Jesus. Your body, your blood, your tissue, your hormones, your reproductive system as a woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Your pains that you are having, mental, monthly pain in the name of Jesus as a result of your monthly flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every root of disease infirmity, sickness in your life, in your body, every root of fibroid, in the name of Jesus, can open your mouth and pray, in the name of Jesus, that root of fibroid, in the name of Jesus, that root of cancer, whatever the ailment is, no means in the house, in the name of Jesus, can what about the men, in your prostrate, in the name of Jesus, every prostrate cancer, let the root of sickness, pains, aches, affliction, diseases and infirmity, in your life, in your body, your spirit, your soul, and that of our children, let them be uprooted. Let them be uprooted, let them be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus, as it concerns you, pray. In the name of Jesus, let them be uprooted. Let them be consumed by fire. Let them be uprooted. Let them be consumed by fire. That root of sickness, that root of fibroid, that root of cancer, that root of kidney problem, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you are going for dialysis on the very places, everything that room in your breast, that you are going for mammogram. Pray now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pain, every ache, affliction, disease, and infirmity in your body, in your life, concerning your health, in your brain, your eye, your tissue, your breast, your reproductive organ, your leg, your pain, arthritis. In the name of Jesus, let them be uprooted, let them be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus, let them be uprooted. Let them be consumed by fire. Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Declare and declare in the name of Jesus. You are healed, ma. You are healed, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and declare in the name of Jesus. Concerning every woman, concerning every wife, concerning every mother, every man in the house, concerning all our children, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord give us the strength to overcome any fears, anxiety, worries, especially women. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare, let the Lord give us the strength to overcome any fears, anxieties, worries, pains that may, that may, in the name of Jesus, that may want to affect your health, your being, your body, your spirit, and hold you back from fulfilling your role as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, in your marriage, in your home, in your family. In the name of Jesus, and also to pursue your purpose and vision and career in life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fears, every worries, every anxiety concerning every woman, every mother, every wife, every husband, all our children, let the Lord give us the strength to overcome them. In the name of Jesus Christ, so that our health will not be attacked, so that our body will not break down. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare in the name of Jesus. If you can say louder, amen. Every woman in the house, every mother, every wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord provide for your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, concerning every man, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord provide for your needs, your financial needs. In the name of Jesus, your finances, let the Lord provide for you. In the name of Jesus, so that your health will not break down, so that your health will not crash. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord provide for your needs, let the Lord meet you at the point of your needs financially. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you, my I pray for you, sir. Be a louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let the Lord give us the strength to persevere. As every woman, every mother, every wife, I pray, I decree, I legislate, even concerning myself, in the name of Jesus Christ, that let the Lord give you and I the strength to persevere in faith, in the name of Jesus, and to continue growing as a woman of prayer, woman of faith, woman of character, woman of grace, woman of trust, love, hope, and joy, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord shall continually be your strength, with that woman, with that mother, with that wife. In the name of Jesus, the strength to persevere. In the name of Jesus, to continue growing in that your home, in that your marriage, in that your family, for your husband, for your children, for your career. The Lord grant it unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The love of God will continue to abide with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus, every woman, every mother, every wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Lord God will draw you closer to himself. In the name of Jesus, and release his abundant blessings and peace in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your family, concerning your husband's life, concerning all your children, your boys, your girls, your sons and your daughter, and concerning your purpose, your vision, your business, your career. In the name of Jesus, the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Let it fill your heart, your realm, your spirit, your soul. You that woman, you that mother, you that wife, you that husband. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you have represented your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the peace of God, the blessings of God upon your life, your home, your marriage, your husband, your children, your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, your health will not fail you, sir. Your health will not fail you, ma. You are healed. In the name of Jesus, mommy, you are healed. Daddy, you are healed. All our children are healed. In the name of Jesus, no sickness, no attack, no infirmity. The healing balm will give the rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, anointing of healing rest upon your life, ma. Rest upon your life, sir. Rest upon all our children. Rest upon your home. Rest upon the work of the hand. Rest upon your marriage, your family, your businesses, your career. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us begin to wave our hands unto the Lord. Begin to thank God. Begin to appreciate God for today's ministration, for His divine ability and power to heal to save, to deliver you from that attack, that sickness, that infirmity, that disease. Ma and Sa and our children in the name of Jesus Christ is able and more than able to save, to deliver, to heal in the name of Jesus. I appreciate God worshiping. Father, we thank you for today's ministration, the 13 of this prayer Valor July edition. Thank you for Father. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your healing balm of Gilead. Thank you for your healing anointing. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, all glory, all honor, all adoration to you. In the name of Jesus, be magnified. Be thou exalted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have not come in vain. Thank you because you have not cast us away from your presence. Thank you because our prayers are answered. We are healed. We are saved. We are delivered. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Thank you for coming into the presence of God once again today to pray unto the living God for your health, for your life, for your body, for home, your husband, your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord will continue to be strength, will not be weary, will not be weak, will not be tired. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, divine answer and counter the Lord can do to guide you and I. We shall all testify to the goodness, to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Don't forget, prayer avalanche will continue. Tomorrow, Sunday, the 14th prayer avalanche and online Sunday service. Make it a day with Jesus, the Redeemer, the Healer, the Savior of the soul. In the name of Jesus, for you to do good, do you go, do you well tomorrow in the name of Jesus. And also, don't forget, invite your friends, invite your family, invite your loved ones. Let them come online together to us all to fellowship together in the presence of the Lord. The 14 prayer avalanche in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all. In the name of Jesus, as you go today, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare the peace of God in your life, in your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus, divine health is your portion, sir. Divine health is your portion, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ, no sickness, no attack. 
no infirmity, no death in your life, in your home, your marriage, and in the life of our children. It is brown in the name of Jesus. Eternal life, sound health, sound mind, rest of all in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin please say this prayer after me lord jesus i believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that i might be free from sin right now i confess you as my lord and personal savior forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood make me your child and write my name in the book of life thank you jesus for saving me sin and satan has no more power over my life in jesus mighty name it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.